Hey, it's the after show. Thanks so much for supporting me. I really mean that because I'm doing all this crazy business all thanks to you guys. I've been working on this non-stop mean. Look at this roof. Oh, to get all this foam up here was a good week. It, it still looks very, you know, home home job. But, but anyway, it works. Now, full transparency. Quack Quack was not the video I had planned. That there is the video I had planned. Look, it's the Dank Pods crappy desk. Mmm, famous Toledo's. And my Twilight Eclipse band-aids. Oh. So the video I've been working on for literally the last weeks was the cheap audiophile video. Look, I've got a whole smorgasbord of headphones to discuss and all that sort of thing. It's, it's taken me forever to get this video going and I got here to film it and I left stuff out, important things. I forgot to bring things. Ugh. But then Quack Quack had arrived and basically saved the day, at least I think. So I hope you don't mind the casual video. But I mean, next week I'll be doing it. Cheap audiophile video, I, I swear. I'm promising it now, so I have to get it done. But I've been held up because I'm still working on this. Look, it's a, you know, I'm still trying to make stuff for this whole thing. The warehouse workstation. Yeah, these Adam's audio speakers are lovely. I really do recommend these. Oh, look, there's my little boy. Drums are my actual thing. So actually like playing around with trying to record drums here. Oh, being able to play at any hour is amazing. The joys of industrial parks. Oh, look, crap and junk. But I'm going to give you a quick tour of like what I'm up to in this place because I've got humongous plans. Look, it's a cabinet full of rare things. Don't look too close. All right, moving on. Look, a treadmill for fit making. Over here, we have the kitchen. It's it's small. That microwave's seen one or two teddy bear picnics, let me tell you. And look, all the food you could want. So out into the warehouse area. Yeah, it's it's still a lot of space here because I'm hoping to fill it up over time. Look, there's, there's a workbench now. The foam company where I got all the acoustic foam, had this kangaroo and rhino, and they let me have them, and this is literally the only way they stand up together. So, like, that's how it is. Oh, my WD, mate, just a little, uh, just a little spray behind the, behind the armpits, mate. It makes it smell fresh. So I've always liked the idea of having a lounge room in the warehouse. <laughs> so this is my old couch and table from my old house because I've actually moved house as well, which is what has absolutely destroyed me this last two months. Because I was living in a slum hole kind of house. Yeah, I'm gonna have like an old school telly here. I want an old dial one. This is a cassette deck that I've just picked up. So I'm gonna play with that later. Look, it's an old motorbike that belonged to a friend of mine and then was stolen as part of like a motorbike theft ring or something. It used to be a really sweet little bike. Now it's got a dragon scratched into the front of it and police markings all over and it's just been absolutely thrashed. I've owned this for oh, two years or something. A worn out one of these goes for about a grand. I think I paid 150 bucks for this. Yeah, so I've had it for like two years. I've got plans on turning it into a rat chopper. Hmm, you know, more on that. That's James's granddad's car. <laughs> It built in Adelaide. Here's my favorite detail. Rust proofing. Oh, that's nice to know. That's very, oh, 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 um, oh. It's got the old mate visor on it. How fun is that? You know, land yacht. It is huge. You Mopar guys out there. Look, a stack of crap. Can you believe this was free? Can you believe this was just left at my old property. Like former housemate just left it behind and didn't want this. So I've had this for like six years now. It runs, it moves. There's no rego or anything. And I have no direct plans on what to do with it, but it's just nice to have it here, you know? All right, so around this side is actually where I keep my fleet of cars. Uh, you know, I gotta save some secrets because spoilers, I'm hoping to start another channel. You know, it would be like a variety thing, you know, some car stuff, some, some bike stuff, some drum stuff, some Frank stuff, some game stuff. That's the whole point of this warehouse is to be able to do all of these things. And so all my cars and, and bikes are hiding over here, but I've got to hide that from you. But I will show you the nuggets. Oh, there they are. Yeah, oh, there they are. Oh, there's one. It is two, three nuggets. So this first one here actually belongs to James. He's owned this for ages. It's a Fiat Nikki and it's like a two cylinder. Sorry about the blinking in industrial lights. Yeah, it had an accident and then like he kind of had to stop driving it for a bit, but it's like a two cylinder, really, really, <laughs> it's like a famine car but it's, it's so funny. Uh, next to it, I only just picked this up to do videos with at some point. So it's a Subaru Sherpa. 
Uh, it's been converted. <laughs> <laughs> it's fully electric. Look at this, the filler plug. <laughs> how, how slamming is that? Look at the crazy gauges and things. It's supposed to be fully working, but it's not. Funny how it goes like that on Facebook Marketplace. But yo, what a nugget, man. Can't wait to play around with that thing. It's got Prius batteries in it. Maybe fun to put Tesla batteries in it at some point. And this, my Honda City, I've had this for years. This was a $500 rescue car, like from out in the middle of whoop whoop. And it was my car for years. I just drove it as it, you know, I've really come from like no money at all working as a musician. I, no problems finding work. It was hard just getting paid. And so I was dailying this thing because it's legally a little van. There's no seats in the back. It's got air con ah, and it's, falling apart it, ne it needs a restoration big time and um yeah i'd love to do it it's it's one of the plans look my jacket's in there because this is what i'm driving home in big river pork big, big river big river pork look it's the laundry center if you want any proof of my like low income background that was my washing machine up until only a month and a half ago. <laughs> old, old twin tub. Look, I told you, it's home laundry center. You know, when you got 20 bucks and you got to wash your clothes, what do you do? And like, I got that drive for free years ago. All right, you guys have seen these rooms, right? It's the nugget hoard. It's always expanding. <laughs> After this, I literally have to go pick up another 12 packages of just nuggets, like, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have to tear all these shelving down to and, and like repack it again because it's getting insane. Like, how many eye jams do you need? I mean, someone just had them and we're selling them for nothing. I'm like, 90s MP3 players? Yes, please. Everyone needs a portable CD-ROM player from like 1997. Yeah, there's 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 treasures. I mean, you know, we got the the Mod Pod. That's a good one. I, I just got to flick a little bit of fire at Samsung. They love tacky marketing. It's like iTunes came out. Oh, mate, we need. X tunes. <laughs> yup. Yeah, Samsung have always done that tacky marketing where it feels like they're comfortably in second place, even though they do make nice things. Hmm. Oh, hot dance for PC. Where would I be without this? And you know, iPod accessories. I'm still. I, I got plans to do like iPod accessory stuff. I mean, hey, quack quack. That was an iPod accessory. And vintage computers. Can't wait to play with them. Look, it's my jazz drum kit from the '60s that I did all of my university study on. It, it lives in here. Nice and safe though. And. My hangout room, which is nice. You know, where all my video games live, you know, because there's some of these games I'd love to play for you guys because they're heaps manky. You know, like Nokia Engage games. I just got this in. It was like 10 bucks. Tony Hawk's sealed, brand new. Can you believe no one bought this? I can, because the engage was terrible. Pinball. Eh, Shaq Fu, as a classic. Oh, G Jimmy Neutron for the Game Boy Advance. In its box. Some freakish nuggets that I keep here. I mean, uh, I know Linus Tech Tips was looking for one of these, and he sent out a thing saying, like, let us know if you got one so we could borrow it. And, and I did, and I never heard back. Oh, the stars of summer. <laughs> Friggin' Balfour's is Aussie pie. These custard tart. Like, this was literally, it blew into my yard back when I was living in that, like, really crappy, slummy house. And, yeah, I decided to just keep it instead. <laughs> but, yeah, it's it's basically to the point where I can actually start using this place properly. I mean, if it looks like there's grand two amounts of space, it's because I want to grow into this place here, you know, put some more shelving up. You know, I've got some arcade machines coming in that James has found for me and he's fixing up, which is super fun. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys are like, you know, you want me to make more content, that's the plan. That is 100% the plan, and that's the reason for this whole place, is that I can come here at any hour and make stuff, and it's gonna be super fun, making choppers, doing whatever with that, smelling WD-40. So yeah, I know, I've, I've been promising a few you guys that I was gonna do like a cheap audio file video. Sorry it didn't happen, like, Oh man, I mean, I get like 300 DMs a week just through Patreon alone on top of piles of emails. It's all pretty overwhelming to be honest, you know, because I'm still trying to make content for that. So thank you so much for being patient and thank you so much for donating, like, because yeah, all this stuff's happening thanks to you guys. And so, like, I'll see you next time. Like, then they're all...